it's Tybug and welcome back to the kitchen. I got a comment recently asking me to film another kitchen video and here I am. Let's do this. So I thought I would be a little bit ambitious and I'm going to make cheesecake from scratch. And it's a baked cheesecake, not a no bake cheesecake. Um, I was reading it and it looks a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So I even, I even have to make the crust here. I, uh, <laughs> so I have some graham crackers. This is sugar and cinnamon and graham crackers. So I need to make them into a little milled crumbs. First I'm going to crush them, then I'm going to make them into crumbs. I don't know how much I'm going to need. It says I need a cup and a half to cover like the bottom of something. I'll start off small. This thing I have to crush it, grind it up into crumbs with, I think is from 1998. It's very old. It's a Hamilton Beach Micro Mini Food Processor. I've never even heard of that before. <gasps> I spilled everywhere already. I got tools to help me this time so I'm not on my own. Nice. Nice and quick. Okay, I need cups. I got new measuring cups too. Because apparently my other ones have BPA in it. One cup. Let's see. This is definitely not one cup. But a girl can be hopeful, huh? You know when you have a whole bunch of stuff in your kitchen but you never know what it was used for? Or you never knew what it was used for? That's what I feel about this. But I finally figured it out what. So I had melted one tablespoon of butter and then in my nine inch pan I'm gonna brush it over everything. Uh, brush it around, I guess. I'm just covering the bottom. I accidentally started to boil the butter in the in the microwave when I was trying to melt it. Okay, what do I mix? One tablespoon sugar, one teaspoon salt. Where do I have those? Oh, can't see. One tablespoon sugar. I wasn't prepared to do this. I thought all I had to do was pour the graham crackers on. Okay, and what after that? Add remaining half cup melted butter, stirring to combine. Press mixture into bottom of prepared pan. I guess I have to melt the rest of the butter now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got it all mixed up, and then it said to press it to the bottom of the pan. So I did, with my hand. It's clean, and this is what we got. So now we need to bake it for 12 minutes. And I'm gonna get started on the next part while this is baking. Now this is the fun part. I got a KitchenAid. I got it last Black Friday and I was so excited to get this because I was like, this is going to make my life so much easier because this does all the work for me. It only came with the one attachment, the beading attachment, but that's like all I need. So let's get started. I had to get how many pounds? I think I had to get two pounds of cream cheese and I felt crazy getting so much cream cheese, but we're going to put that in. Um, and we just need to beat it at medium speed until creamy. And I wanted it to be softened, so how I softened it is I kind of just put it out and let it defrost and then I kind of hammered on it with my hands so it's a little bit more malleable, malleable, malleable. Anyways, I got block cream cheese though instead of like tub cream cheese so it would make it easier for me to do stuff. I don't know if you guys want like an above view of the, the stand mixer. I wouldn't. I feel like it's going to look a little gross. I mean it's just going to be all, all like yellow and creamy. So I'm just going to put this in. I'll, t I'll t explain what I'm doing. This is disgusting. I hate it so much. Touching all of this. 
Should I put the excess in? I should probably put the excess in, huh? Get my money's worth. I wonder, I should have calculated the cost to see if doing all of this to make a full cream cheese thing is cheaper than getting like cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory. I love Cheesecake Factory. That's like where I go for my birthdays now. The oven! Medium speed. <laughs> How's this work? Oh, wait. Ah, ah, ah. Mika is here with me today. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. Okay, I forgot to raise the bowl. How do I do this? It's stuck. I need to move the cream cheese because it's right where the beater is. Oh, I was just pulling it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get the, the thing out of the oven. Okay, Mika is literally right below me. Hi, Mika. And it said to beat it for like four minutes until it was creamy, so I think it's creamy. And then reduce mixture speed to low and add cornstarch. How much cornstarch? Sometimes it just says add stuff, and I'm like, what? Cornstarch, cornstarch. One tablespoon. Okay. I don't know what slow is. All I have here is numbers. Did I mean to add while it's stirring? Because it just says reduce speed to low and add this. But I'm like, I can't do that. One tablespoon cornstarch. Remaining sugar. Okay, that's a cup and one fourth. One and one fourth cups. Cream cheese on the bottom. Remaining teaspoon salt. A teaspoon, I have a teaspoon. I guess maybe now it can be low, but I'll do it. I'll do it when I feel more comfy. Okay, until fluffy three to four minutes, stopping to scrape sides of bowl. vanilla bean seeds or zest. I don't have that, so we're not going to do that. Increase mixer speed of medium, add eggs one at a time, beating until combined after each addition. So I need to add four eggs. So you're probably not going to be able to hear me. I'm sweating, unfortunately. So maybe I'll just, I'm going to put the rest of my hair up and we're going to be adding four eggs one at a time. And these are local eggs. I don't know if they're organic, but they're local eggs. <laughs> Now it's like, it looks like cake batter a little bit. So I added the four eggs. I'm gonna scrape the sides just so um, everything is like kind of mixed. Add sour cream and whipping cream, beating just until combined. Okay, how much sour cream? One cup sour cream. That's not a cup. Here's a cup. I made no bake cheesecake little bites. Uh, I think in the winter and they were really good. But I used like pastry sheets and I didn't know how to use pastry sheets so it didn't turn out that great but the insides were delicious. Okay, I think that's a good cup. I'm going to add in one more spoon just for prosperity's sake. There. And don't lick, don't lick. And one third cup whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Do I mix it on low? I think I've been mixing everything on low, so I'm just gonna continue mixing it on low. <laughs> I'm getting sweater and sweater each time you see me. So now this is the part that kind of confused me. So this is the graham cracker crust we made, but it said to wrap it in two layers of tin foil wrap, and we're gonna do a water bake, I think it's called. So this is done. So I pour this into this, this into this, and then pour boiling water into a big pan so then it can like absorb the steam and help the cheesecake rise. I don't really know, but how do I undo this? Is there a, a locking mechanism? 
Look at how creamy it looks. I don't know why the water has to be boiling if it's gonna go in the oven, but that's just what it said. This is heavy. Okay, here we go. I feel like this is gonna be too much. Because if it's supposed to rise, I have a lot more cheesecake here. Should I have done it in a deeper pan? Look at how much more I still have. I don't know what to do with it. Because as it is, this is going to be a pain to make. Oh gosh. I will consult La Familia to help me. Okay, I think the water is boiled. I don't know if I can, how I'm going to show this part to you guys because I don't want to burn myself, but we're going to try. Boiling water. Put that there. Then I put this part. It's going to burn me. I did it without getting burnt. Okay, now I need to put it in the oven for an hour and a half. See you later. And now it's time for the first taste. First, I'm gonna try it with the crust because I didn't get all the crust off at the bottom, so. Now the dense part. I don't think I made New York style cheesecake, but I made a cheesecake. It's okay. It's a little bit more sour than I usually like it, but I put whipped cream on it. So let me try it with whipped cream. much better okay bye make sure to like follow and subscribe i have all my socials linked down below so thank you guys so much for watching see you next time